Hey guys, um, I decided to post a quick video about something I've never spoken on, but it's worth mentioning millions of times over. When I, uh, so in May of 2011, I took a Vivitrol shot and immediately was spiraled into an incomprehensible just mental breakdown. I mean, my whole world got flipped upside down. I just watched this gentleman's video about his depersonalization and derealization that came after he took some ecstasy and some weed. And uh, he felt okay the day before. He had his drug experience and it, it catapulted him into this numb, miserable, miserable state. Uh, living hell. I mean, I don't even think I could come up with all the words to describe it, but uh, I'm making this video for you. Um, and... Uh, I just want everyone to know that, um, I don't know, don't take for granted feeling mentally stable. I mean, feeling uh, feeling anything at all, you know? It, it's a weird thing, but what happened to me when I took that Vivitrol injection a year and two months ago is that I had a mental breakdown that was just riddled with uncrippling anxiety. I mean, heart racing all the time, vision seemed bad, like tunneled, and I just felt this low, painful, despairing feeling, it, and it just made me want to kill myself every second for months and months. I mean, you, 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 look, it's horrible, right? It's, it's, you know, if you haven't been through it, you could never possibly imagine how hor it's painful to be alive. That's, that's what I used to say to my parents, you know, because I had to move back in with my folks and I eventually got hospitalized because I was so bad. I mean, every minute being awake hurts. It's painful. You just feel like your soul is on fire. You just feel so horrible and, and you feel numb. I mean, it's, uh, it's the most frightening experience ever to not have any feelings you just you go outside you don't feel anything you don't know what's going on you don't feel a part of anything you, you feel outside of yourself like this gentleman said look I just I'm making this video because I'm still here you know it's been a year and two months and I still struggle with it and uh, it's better though that's that's <clears throat> that's the thing is it is better and it's more tolerable and even though it's not quite gone yet I just I hope you see this video. I'm making this is a video response so Look, I just want you to know you can survive it. And I have to believe that's possible. I have to believe that I will continue to get better. Um, in terms of treatment, just man, I guess the best medicine is to hold on. Time, I mean, it's a bullshit thing to say, right? Time is the, the best thing when you're feeling as bad as you're feeling. You, you said, this gentleman said, anyway, that... Th Every day is a living hell, and and I'm so sorry for your pain. I. It's it's not fair, and it's so bad. And I've been in that hospital room, um, where you you were when I. I mean, this video looks like it's a couple months ago. So I hope you're doing better. I would love to know that you're doing better, but. Um, improve your diet the best you can. Stick around people as best you can. Find little moments, find teeny, tiny, almost, just find the little moments that uh, you get a little relief and, and hold on to them. And they will become more frequent and they will become more often. And, and even though it'll, you'll, it's hardly, it almost sounds like a negative happiness because you'll, you'll be like, um, I don't know, you still feel like you don't feel anything or feel good, but it's just less bad, but it eventually leads to some stability. I would have never guessed it, you know, and I've been in this episode of depression, anxiety, depersonalization, derealization for like 14 months. And I don't know how I'm still alive, but I am, and I'm glad I am. And it's still hard in a lot of ways, but it has improved, and I just want you to know it can improve for you too. Hopefully it has already. Maybe this is this video is way past due. But I just had to make sure you knew that you're my thoughts. You can message me anytime. Um, and, uh, Hang in there. Um, change your diet. And I ended up having my testosterone levels checked. And I had low testosterone. And um, I've been on T treatment for about two months and a couple weeks. 
And it's made a big difference for me for the depersonalization, the anxiety, and the depression. I had incredibly low testosterone um, that we didn't know about, you know, after I took that shot. So anyway, this this is kind of a random video, but this is a video about depersonalization, depression, anxiety. You just numb. Nothing feels real. I used to look at my hand. I used to like seriously like look at my hand, and I, I didn't even know if I was watching a movie or where I was or what's going on. It's a fucked up feeling. It's so painful, and I'm so sorry again for your suffering. I just want you to hold on. I have to believe that you're going to be better, and you're going to heal with time. Not not in the amount of time you want to, but you will heal, and I'll be praying for that healing for you, and of course I pray for that healing for everyone who's suffering from depression, anxiety, depersonalization, mood disorders in general. I pray for myself, yeah. So just hold on, okay? And uh, just keep trying to figure it out. Don't Don't give up. Don't give up because because you could have a very appreciative and, and full life after this. You just have to hang in there as long as it takes. Every day you just deal with one day at a time. Try not to dwell in the future, although I know it's hard. Just hang in there and um, stay away from all drugs and alcohol. Don't ever mess with them. Don't go there. Just be as good to your brain and your body as you can. And I, I believe healing will come for you. And if it has already then good. And maybe you can just help other people now. Message me, for sure. Do it. I'm here. Um, Alright, peace.